I have an older son. I got to tell you, my wife came to me when he was 16. And I'm sure you've had, some of you have had this conversation. My wife goes, I've had it. That's her two words. Had it. Kids would call me up when I was on the road. Mom says she's had it. What does that mean? <laughs> Run, that's what that means. <laughs> she's a lunatic. Run. <laughs> Watch out for the kidney punches. <laughs> so she calls me in the bedroom. She goes, I've had it. I said, about what? She goes, that boy. I went, because it wasn't me. <laughs> I said, what, what about him? And she said, I'm tired of trying to shove an education down that boy's throat. I'm sick and tired of it. He goes to summer school every year. He won't study. He won't get good grades. It doesn't mean anything to him. I'm just tired of it. So I look at my wife and I ask her, I go, what kind of student were you? She said, I was awful. And I said, well, Lord knows I was awful. What makes you think you and I together would breed a good student? <laughs> if there's anything to DNA, this kid's right on track. <laughs> you heard his timing? Tell a joke? He's impeccable. I said, what do you want me to do? She says, talk to him. Find out what he's going to do when he gets out of high school. I'm tired of this. So I sit him down and I tell him straight up. I want to tell you, son, this is a father-son discussion. Father-son discussion. Your mother wants to know what you're going to do when you get out of high school. <laughs> he says, I don't know. I said, that's a problem. We need to figure this out. So we sit down with a notebook. We figure all this stuff out, his likes, dislikes. We go down the whole list of things. And ROTC came up. And he likes ROTC. He's been in there for three years at the time. And he says, I kind of dig this. And I said, you, you go to those camps in the summer. He used to go to the military camps in the summer, repel. And I said, you know what? Maybe you should consider a, a military move when you get out of high school. Give you four or five years or whatever it is to kind of figure out what you want to do, sort your life out. I said, I didn't even begin to pull my head out of my backside until I was 30. So maybe that's what you need. And he goes, that's cool. I go, you got friends? Anyway, so I go back and tell his mother. I said, he's going to join the Army when he gets out of high school. She says, what's he going to do when he gets in the Army? I go, when does it end? <laughs> I said, I don't know. She goes, ask. I said, I go out and ask him. What are you going to do? He goes, I'm going to drive a tank. I said, cool. Go back and I tell his mother. He's going to drive a tank. Now, my wife goes right by me, doesn't say a word. Goes into the basement, comes upstairs with a pile of newspapers. Plops them in front of me. Boom. I go, what is that? She said, I want you and your new tank driving boy to go through the classifieds and show me one job for a tank driver. <laughs> go to the Army so you can learn a skill so when you get out, you can feed a family. You don't go to drive a tank. I said, he's 16. He wants to blow things up. I'm 50. I want to blow things up. 